Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. Today you've joined me as I finish this design from Fancels, which is a plastic tumbler kit. Hopefully you saw the unboxing. If not, check out the eye and I will put the video in there. You may want to check that out before watching this one. I have been working on the design this morning. I started over in the left hand corner and I have been working in sections rather than doing complete numbers. So I thought I would video the end of the completion of the design and then we'll see how it all fits together at the end. So I'm going to do this lovely flower here with these number fours and I have been working out of the packets and I have been using the kit that came with the with this design. So I'm using a basic single placer pen, a basic green tray and the wax that came with the kit. I haven't needed the baggies so I've got nice spare ones to use on another kit and I have to say that this kit would be a perfect beginner kit because you don't need anything else to complete it. You don't need to worry about putting your diamonds in nice rows. As you can see, they are, it's a bit like doing a special diamond painting kit where they don't sit side by side. And it would also be a lovely kit if you like to use tweezers because every diamond placed is singly placed. So that is an option if you prefer to do that too. And if you are a beginner, as you can see, I'm using the basic kit. You don't need anything extra at all to do this lovely design. The diamonds are really good uniform shapes. So I haven't come across any junk. I would say that there are some colours that are getting quite low, but hopefully we will have enough to complete the design. And that is another reason why I decided to do a video now, as it gets to the end, to see if we do have enough of the colours to finish and to see how it all fits together, because I'm still not 100% about um, how it folds up into the inside of the plastic tumbler. So we will discover that together. <laughs> I do have to say that if I can do it, then anybody can because, yeah, I'm, it's not my strong point, the practical side of things. So if I can put this cup design together <laughs> without any calamities, then I'm sure you could too. I hope you're all really well and I hope you've got your own fun projects on the go. This one has been so much fun and it's got some beautiful colours included and you could, if you wanted to, start at number one and then move on to number two as you go along. I've decided to do it in sections because I wanted to keep the protective cover on a little bit, especially down this side because I think this is supposed to overlap and stick together so I didn't want to lose any of the stickiness down that side. So, I prob probably overthought it, but just in case. <laughs> but the colours are absolutely fantastic. And I think by working in sections, I started on the very left-hand side and worked down the side and changed the colours as I went along. And in doing that, I think I've just enjoyed working from colour to colour so much. I do prefer, I think, to work that way. And the colours in this kit are beautiful, really bright, vivid colours with the green and dark backgrounds to bring those colours to the fore such a joy to work on, a really easy kit. And I did start working on my knee on a tray with this kit 
and then moved to the table. So you could, if you're traveling or you've got limited space, you can easily do this kit. It is like a thick card. I'm just wondering, is that, is that sticky on the back? I'm not sure. Let's finish the design before I go off on a tangent <laughs> and get too far ahead of myself. Um, all right, we were doing number four. I'm just thinking if that backing is sticky too, then that would make sense on sticking onto the cup. But let's do the number nines next. Here we are. And there are 12 packets, so I find it really easy just to work from the packs in this kit. So no kitting up either. Ooh, one thing I would say is I think I put that on the wrong way around there. So make sure if you do take this completely off that you stick it the correct way because sometimes if you stick it the wrong way it sticks and won't come off at all. So little lesson there but luckily I caught that in plenty of time. So these little pops of colour in between, aren't they pretty? It is such a gorgeous design, this one, and has made me feel quite summery as I've been working on it. And it is intended to be my water bottle for the summertime, this design. So I think it's going to be perfect for that. I did wonder if, if you put a hot drink in the tumbler itself, whether it would stay cool on the outside because it has got like a plastic outer to it. And I also wondered about washing it, um, whether you have to take the design out to wash it. Whereas using it as a water bottle, I can just rinse it out. It's not too big a deal on that. And I can take the lip of the cup off to give that a proper wash. So, just things to bear in mind if you are intending to buy the kit. And there are other designs for the cup. So if you're not keen on the floral, have a look. And I think they've got um, like a geometric design and all sorts of things. So go to the Fancils website to have a look. I will put the link to this one in the description box below. So you'll be able to find this one really easily. Should we do number ones next? Um, let's do this lilac colour. And doing it section by section, rather than number by number, means you can skip ahead, you can skip all over the place. You don't have to work in a definite position. So you can do whatever colour takes your fancy next. Super, super easy. And it is a practical product being a usable tumbler. So I like that about it too. Once it's complete, I'll be able to take it with me and use the product and just enjoy the design. And also being flowers, using it as a water bottle, that kind of makes sense too, thinking about it. <laughs> I also did think about, I was about halfway through at the time, and I thought this is also a lovely design to change and perhaps uplift a little bit with crystals. If you like to add the sparkly clear crystals into your designs. This one would be lovely for that because what you could do is change out either some of the flowers or some of the inner into crystals and make it sparkle even more. So 
So as I say, I was about halfway through when I thought about it. I did wonder whether to perhaps do a bit of the central patterning in crystal, but I wanted to show you what the finish would be without any additions whatsoever. So I kept to the product as intended. Let's put it that way. A bit more pink wax and we just dip our pen in, pick up a circle of the pink wax and we continue. So if you are a beginner, that's how you start. You dip your basic pen into the wax. I do it about four times with a new diamond pen, just to make sure that the nib is nicely full so that when you're picking up your diamonds, it doesn't disappear up the nib. So I get about four different dips. So it's probably this corner here because you can dip as many times as you like until it feels sticky right on the end and it doesn't disappear into the nib. And then you press it on and it just automatically picks, picks it up and you don't have to press hard putting them down. You can just gently place and the stickiness of the backing, because this is all sticky, pulls the diamond from the wax for you. Number one. Okay, let's do number three. I can see a few little sprinklings of the dark background being number three. Just open this baggie a bit more and tip those back in. Number three, here it is. Not many of these left at all. we go again. Simple as that. So relaxing. Don't have to think about it. Can really enjoy the colours. All you do is follow the correct numbers. So the bag is number three and I am looking for the number threes in these circles and I'm just covering those circles with the round diamonds to make it all sparkly and beautiful. And that's all there is to it. Diamond painting is so easy to get started. It's a really good therapy craft for mindfulness and anxiety. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to buy lots of different things to get started. Literally, the kit is all you need. And then of course, when you catch the bug and get addicted, like a lot of us are, you can then add on different accessories and get really, really gorgeous kits so you can go as far as you want with it. Number seven next we'll do some of this green background. You don't have to start in any particular place you can just choose a place and get going. Easy easy peasy and then when you um, do your next kit you can buy different accessories, you can get lovely, lovely diamond painting pens to collect, you can get cover minders which hold back the protective covers so that they don't flip back and forward, you can get tweezers, you can get all sorts of collectible type things to use. at this bright, bright colour. I mean, it's joyous, isn't it? Absolutely joyous. That's those finished. So let's have a little look and see. Let's do some more background. We've got quite a few number sixes to do. I think you'll see what I mean about the packets getting quite empty now as we come to the last diamonds in particular colours. There we go, into this segment here. 
and all you need to do is try and cover the circle as much as you can. The symbols on this one is so easy to see. The dark colours are in the white circles on top, so no problems in seeing which colour goes where. Now you'll see in this tray here, that tiny little bit there, that's junk. You don't want to use that, you want to make sure that you use the proper sized diamonds over those circles. Okay, I think I missed a number five. Just one right there, so let's get another one of those back and complete that. I'll probably just do it out of the packet rather than tip them all out again. There we are. And we'll do number twos. Got a few number twos. And then we'll finish with that beautiful bright blue. So a few of these to go in first. Okay, let's do number 11, there we go, and I think you can see how easily it is to work from the packets. These are self-seal packs, so all you need to do is make sure that they're nicely sealed so they don't all fall out if you pick up the packet. <laughs> Another little calamity that I always mention from experience. <laughs> so we're filling in these blues and I think these are lilies, aren't they? Oh, so nice. Pushing that, making sure they're in the right place because with it being sticky, you can manipulate it a little bit. Got a bit of residue pink wax there, so I'm just wiping that off. Um, and if you do put a lot of wax in, like I've just put in quite a bit to show you how to fill your pen, um, just rub it, rub it away. And if you get any on the canvas, you can use some tweezers or um, anything like that to try and pick the residue off. So I'm just sliding. If I don't hit the spot correctly, then I just slide it into place a little bit. That's all. You can't go wrong. I did even wonder at the beginning whether I should leave some of the flowers without doing them so that it could make it interesting on the cup. You can see then what the process is of finishing the actual diamond painting itself. But then I changed my mind because I thought it might just look like some of them had fallen off rather than it being intentional. Um, so it might be something you want to consider if you're quite arty. You might want to leave some of the canvas flowers bare and so their symbols show through instead. I've thought about doing it on diamond paintings before, sort of doing half a diamond painting and leaving the other half and then framing it that way. So it would just be quite interesting to look at, but I haven't done it yet. I think it would need to be the right sort of diamond painting to get away with it. <laughs> into the last few now and we've got lots of this blue colour left so we needn't worry about running out of this colour and there we have it just going to do a quick check to make sure I haven't missed anywhere do a bit of a tidy up yep no that's fine oh, I've uh, spill there, don't want that one in. And probably just dropped off my pen. So 
That is the design finished. What do you think? Do you love it too? The colours are beautiful, aren't they? Really bright and happy. And could you imagine the crystals perhaps sitting in the middle of the flowers in certain places? Or perhaps this big flower being in crystal? Just, yeah, make it your own. Do your own thing. Okay, that is the di diamond painting aspect finished. Oh, let's have a quick look in the packs. So some of them had fewer than others, but definitely finished the whole diamond painting without any incidents. So really, really good. Okay. This is the tumbler itself. So as I mentioned, the lid you can take completely off. So you could give that a really good wash once it's been used. I'm not sure if once that's screwed into place, how watertight this bit is. So if you're washing it, I well, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes together before I advise on that. <clears throat> okay, on the box, it says, tear off the surface film, done. Find the diamonds, done. Pour the diamonds in the tray, done. Dip the glue on the pen, done. So as you can see, all of the instructions are on the back of the box. So if you wanted to buy it as a gift idea for somebody, everything here is explained really well. Use the included sticky pen and clay to pick up the diamond. Place diamond in corresponding colour spot into a cup. Okay, into a cup. So that is all the explanation that they've given me <laughs> for inserting this into here. So am I supposed to stick it together and overlap? Because this bit is still sticky and there's no diamonds on at all. So for me, it's logical to stick that together. Hmm. Just want to make sure that they are all properly stuck down before. Oh, I've got another one that I must have dropped. So do I stick it together or do I pop it into the cup? I don't want to stick it together. <laughs> if it's the wrong size. So let me read the rest of the instructions. Into a cup, insert liner, close the lid and show it off. Okay. <laughs> very, very simple. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is measure this around this to see... nervous can you tell I'm a bit nervous about sticking it all together and then it not fitting in and not being able to be taken out very easily okay I'm just going to do what the instructions say so obviously this backing is not sticky otherwise it would have said to peel that off okay so insert into liner inserted into oh it's done it itself oh, interesting did you see that I'll try and do that again so inserting it and I'm making sure that this bit is underneath that bit little tip there so I'm making sure the sticky bit is underneath this bit and I'm going to push it down and it's on its own shape. Mm, okay, now let's put the liner in and push down. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now it is a little bit, look, off kilter here. 
let's try it again. Oh gosh, I'm going to get this not being sticky anymore, aren't I? But I need it lining up at the bottom because that would annoy me otherwise. Oh, there, that's better. It's all lined up. It's pushed to the bottom. Oh my goodness. I love that design. I really do. Pop the liner in, press it down. Oh, happier. I'm much, much, much happier with that. Right, insert the liner and close the lid. Okay, so I didn't have to screw that in place. Screw the lid. Ta-da! There it is, all complete and in place. And all you need to do to open this lip is push that way. And there's the lip to drink from. Easy peasy. And this is, if you don't want to do that, you can drink out of that. And there's the gorgeous floral pattern. Ta-da! Right, finished. And I now have a beautiful cup to use for my water. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you think that this is as practical as I do. It's a really good size. And do you know, because it's got the plastic outer, I think if there was a warm drink in here, you would be protected because your hands are not clutching the inner flask. And if you wanted to wash it, that's when I would say, be a little bit careful because I don't know how watertight this is and you don't want any water getting into the beautiful design. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope that you can join me again another time. And in the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.